doll lovers it's ruby red's world of dolls and welcome back thank you so much for stopping by i hope that all is well fantastic and fabulous your way yes i got you staring at a big brown box from target.com ups just dropped this box off about 30 minutes ago it is raining here in north carolina um just a messy messy day and um what better way to be stuck inside than with a new dolly package right so this is something i'm so excited about you can tell by the thumbnail what it is um this barbie signature malibu gift set i'm so excited about it when i saw the promo pics of this i knew that i had to have it in my collection um it's a little pricey 80 bucks but when you calculate three dolls you know eh, it, it kind of comes out to be about what you want you know i these dolls were out when i was very very young so of course i don't have the original ones in my collection so it's really nice to get these reproductions and able to add them to my collection me being the first owner of them you know i don't care about it being a reproduction you know a lot of people feel like if you didn't get the original you don't have the actual look mattel made both of them Mateo made the original. They came out in 1971, and they made this one. You know, I sometimes, I'm telling you, in the doll world, I'm just, the stuff that I hear sometimes, some people want to feel like what they got is better than what other people got. And at the end of the day, it, it it's all the same thing, people. It's the same thing. You might have had the one that came out in 1971. In 1971, I was a very, very young girl. And, you know, my Barbies that I played with growing up got ruined. And, you know, so I don't really have, I don't have any of my original toys. And then a lot of stuff that I saved, Mama gave it away when I left home. So, you know, I don't have any of my original stuff. So, all right, so here we are. I wanted to unbox it with you guys because I wanted to get that first impression with you. So I do have another secret in here. Um, this is the Barbie Ken 60th anniversary silk stone. I wanted him. I don't have a Ken um, silk stone. And then back here in all of this plastic, I'm glad they packaged it well. All right, so... I pull them out. You got to see me pull them out. I'm trying not to look at them. All right, so I'm trying to get this big box whoo, out of the way. And in the meantime, I'm knocking down my beautiful dolls. All right, I'm so sorry, Victoria. I'm so sorry. My violinist. I'm so sorry. All right, so you get back over there where you were. All right, so out of the box, here we go. All right, so hoping it's not scratched up because this is something that I collected. I want it in my collection as a collector. This is a collector's item, and I don't plan on. Um, I hate when they stick these ugly. I hate when Target does that. They have a they have a bad habit of doing that. The only good thing about it is that if you take your time and you remove it slowly, you usually can remove it without any um, residue left on there. So. Let's see if I can go ahead and get that off without ruining my box. I'm not going to completely unbox them because at the present moment, I don't have anywhere to um, display them. And these are dolls that I will not be playing with. These are dolls that I want on display. All right, so I want to I don't want the glare to blind you. All right, so if I turn it this way. All right, so... Yes, I'm very excited about this little Malibu Barbie um, collection. I'm excited to have this. 1971. Like I said, I was a little bitty girl. Okay, a little bitty girl. Um, but I love this set. I love it. I love it. I love it. Alright, so let's turn it around on the back. Alright, so here we have this little introduction of Malibu Barbie, the original California girl. Surfs up with the sunset. Malibu Barbie and her beach-loving friends made a big splash with their debut in 1971. With their sun-kissed, tan skin, and cool beach vibe, they're the groovy girls everyone wants to know. 
Each classic reproduction doll is dressed in a replica of her original swimsuit and comes with a towel, sunglasses, and vintage wrist tag. 50 years later, Barbie, the original California girl, and her friends are still making waves. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so there is no more than 20,000 worldwide. And then it's got the little, a little code or something on there. So, you know, really like the artwork. I like the box that they came in, so it doesn't bother me too much to keep them inside the box and not to unbox them. I did want to, um, it's not my plan to keep them in the box forever now. But like I said, I don't really have um, a place to display them, so I want to keep them in their box right now but I will try to pull them out of the packaging because I think they yeah it slides right out so that you guys can really see them um, without the glare of the um, box and there they are and they are just so gorgeous they look just like the original dolls they really do you know and um, a lot of adult collectors that I follow said they weren't really gonna buy it because the only doll they wanted was Christy <coughs> and they didn't see the justification in buying all paying eighty dollars for the whole set but I don't have any of them so it was a win-win for me I mean these dolls are fabulous they have the original bodies that they came with which are those bend and snap knees and I mean they're just gorgeous okay so we got Miss Barbie we have Miss Christy here in the red and then we got old PJ over here and I mean I'm so excited about this re production set i am so happy to have these dolls in my collection now they do they do come with their own doll stands so they do have doll stands tucked away back in there but like i said i don't want to remove them from their packaging because i do not have my display area for them just yet but they will get unboxed whenever i do and you know maybe i'll buy another set if they ever go on sale and um get another set to leave in the box you know I, I really am a collector that there are certain things that I like to have two of and this is one of those sets that I really like because who knows maybe I'll decide to redress them in some vintage clothing you know who knows where my my mood may go so that's the fun thing about doll collecting and collecting dolls from different eras you know i might decide to dress them in new clothing or i might decide to go with their era era and their time but i do love how each doll has her genuine um sticker um wrist tag and i won't take those off either you know these are genuine dolls even though they're reproductions you know like i said a lot of people have their opinions about that because it's a reproduction but either way you look at it baby these dolls are all made by mateo they're all barbie so to me my reproduction is just as valuable to me as the original ones that came out i mean i'm sorry to say but no, I'm not sorry to say, but that is the truth. You would but you'd be shocked to hear some of the stuff that collectors say and their opinions on certain things. But I'm really excited about these dolls. I'm really, really excited about them. And I and and I, and the price, like I said, they were eighty it was eighty bucks for all three dolls. Um, which puts them up a little over what? A little over twenty something bucks a piece. So not a bad deal not a bad deal but i can't understand if there's only if you already have barbie and you already have pj i can see you saying you know you can't justify spending eighty dollars just to get christy all right so i'm opening the second one here the barbie um the ken 60th anniversary now i don't have any ken silkstone dolls in my collection and i really wanted this one when he first came out I really wanted to get him. Um, $50 is not bad for a Silkstone doll. Now, I'm really shocked that these dolls didn't come wrapped in the tissue paper and in their separate box. Especially with them being, you know, collectible. And, you know, and they know how we collectors are about the packaging and the packaging getting all scratched up. But here he is, 60 years of Ken. I had to have this in my collection. 
I did wait until it went down on went down in price a little bit. Um, he went down to I want to say he was thirty eight dollars. I want to say he was thirty eight dollars, and I think he's that same price on Amazon as well because you know how Amazon and Amazon does. You know they try to be competitive with their prices. So whenever Target or Walmart goes down in price you know they go down in price as well and here he is mr ken oh yes uh he has the name he has the wrist tag as well you know showing his proof of authenticity is, is what i call it but i really had to get him i really wish that they would do the uh, african-american version of this doll because i would definitely love to have him as well i do have two barbie silk stones in my collection i don't have a lot of silk stones and you know dolls of this nature because i'm more into the collector that loves to buy the dolls that she can play with and i can justify cutting their hair painting their faces removing you know doing little different things with them because they don't cost so much but with the silk stones and the collectible dolls like this i have dolls put away that i don't ever intend to take out of the box because they are such rare dolls and I don't want any damage or any dust or any particles getting on them even inside of the cabinet. So, you know, they stay in box. So, I really like him. If he goes down in price again, who knows, maybe I will get a second one to unbox and maybe do the same thing I want to do with these these um fabulous gals. Um try dressing him in some vintage clothing as well as some modern style clothing but i really like him a lot i mean check him out he's quite handsome i mean a lot of people have a lot of comments about ken and, you know he's really weighted which the silkstone dolls are i mean the quality of the silkstone dolls you get what you pay for um there are a lot of silkstones that i missed out on and you know i regret not getting them at the time and because now you get them from third-party sellers, whew, the price is a lot. So, you know, but we were lucky enough to find some dolls in Tuesday morning at one time. I'm hearing that Tuesday morning is starting to get in some more dolls and stuff now, but I'm not near a Tuesday morning. You know, I will have to go to where my daughter lives to check out the Tuesday mornings and the Tuesday mornings in her area are not the best. So she would have to take me to other areas so that would have to be something i would have to plan to do you know if they're starting to get them back in stock but he's really he's really awesome he's he he looks like the original as well he also comes with his doll stand and he he is all ready they're all ready for the beach aren't they <laughs> let me tell you something guys i love these dolls but i hate the beach i have never been a beach person never been a person that like the beach i don't um, I love the outdoors, but I don't like being directly in the sun. I don't know. You know, I have a lot. I just don't. I just don't. As a child, I played outdoors. It didn't matter. It was never too hot. It was never too cold. But I have never been a person that just loves being out in the sun and in the beach. I've never loved the beach. We took my daughter to the beach when she was a little girl to give her that experience. But I was never a beach person not about the beach <laughs> love that my dolls love it but i don't love it so I, I i you know i gotta share that part with you guys oh my goodness their hair is soft there's no gel or product in these in these dolls hair guys all right let me pull let me give you guys another close-up of these beautiful be these beautiful ladies so you can see them up close just in case you're riding the fence about getting them i know a lot of you say you like to you watch my channel to see the stuff to see if you're going to make a decision on it. I don't know if they'll go down in price. You know, they probably will. They usually do. Christmas time, the holidays, Black Friday, who knows? This set, this set will probably go down. But sometimes it ain't about the price for me. You know, I, <laughs> I told you guys, I work summer school so that I could splurge a little bit this summer with, um, with the dolls. And, and I definitely have done that. I have definitely done that. And, um, I am so excited about my new additions to my collection. I really am excited. But I really am excited about my dolls. And they do come with their match their little towels back there, guys. This set is really nice. 
really, really nice. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about my new additions to my collection. And again, like I said, these will be going in a display area. And these girls will have to stay in their box along with them until I can get some some display um, shelves. I have my eyes on those Ikea ones, but I'm not near an uh, Ikea. The closest Ikea store to me is over three hours away, almost a four-hour drive. And um, the shipping to get those things shipped, if you order them online, the shipping cost is more than what the actual shelves cost, which is crazy to me. But um, that's what's holding me back is the shipping cost. I think the shipping cost on one of those things were going to cost me like a hundred, almost 80 something bucks. And I, I just couldn't justify it. But that's what I'm looking at. I'm trying to decide about that and trying to look around to see if I could find something that's in that, um, something in those, something in that design of the Ikea um, display shelves. Because they're really nice shelves and they display your stuff so nicely. You know, you got, uh, you, you can, it, it's just nice. If you display dolls, if you're a doll collector and you like your dolls on display, I mean, those shelves are really nice and they're really affordable. You know, and if you're near an Ikea where you can go in and pick them up, hey, you cannot go wrong with those shelves. You know, I've talked to other adult collectors who have them. That is what I want. So that's what I'm sending out to the universe so that I can um, have that opportunity. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me with my new additions. Um, sorry I didn't un, um, unbox them. I kind of did unbox them. I just didn't remove them from their packaging because um, it's just not in the cards right now. But I'm so excited about my new dolls. I mean, look at old Christy over there. If she ain't got a serious look, check out old Christy. She has got it going on. Yes, I love these dolls. She is beautiful. All of them are beautiful. The whole set is beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Really, really pleased. Really pleased about my new additions. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. You guys know I'm Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Don't forget to leave me a little comment, one or two comments. Tell me what you think about the new um, reboot <laughs> of these dolls. Are you planning to collect them? Hey, maybe you're one of those lucky people that have the original ones, as they call them, the original three. Um, I would love to hear. I would love to hear about that. I would love to hear your opinions and your feedback on doll collecting and what you're collecting this summer. What are you doing? My summer vacation is winding down. I'm trying my best not to think about it. I had angel cake for a whole week. Her mom and dad broke down and let me keep that sweet baby for a whole week. And I had to take her back um, yesterday. And, you know, I was really down in the dumps yesterday because I always get like that when I got to take my baby back. Yeah, I do. I got to get readjusted. <laughs> but love to hear about what you guys are collecting. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video. I feel good.